While the U.S. government battles through its dysfunction, in New York, the international community is attempting to forge a new path of cooperation on issues ranging from the global economy to the Syrian conflict. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had other plans this afternoon when he delivered his remarks to the United Nations General Assembly. He focused his criticism on Iran and, more specifically, the country's new president, Hassan Rouhani. Listen. Rouhani doesn't sound like Ahmadinejad. But when it comes to Iran's nuclear weapons program, the only difference between them is this. Ahmadinejad was a wolf in wolf's clothing. Rouhani is a wolf in sheep's clothing. A wolf who thinks he can pull the eyes, the wool over the eyes of the international community. And the criticism certainly did not end there. To fill us in on all the shots that Bibi took at Iran, RT correspondent Anastasia Cherkina joins me now. Hi there, Anastasia. Can you fill us in on what else came out of this speech today? Well, Megan, what we just heard was really the gist and the key sentiment of the message Benjamin Netanyahu passed out of the United Nations General Assembly today. Uh, this complete lack of trust uh, towards the more friendlier tone that we have seen come from Iran and its new president, Rouhani, especially during last week at the United Nations General Assembly. Uh, uh, this, of course, this neg negativity, sarcasm, and lack of hope towards any kind of renewal of negotiations or renewal of possible trust to Iran. Uh, 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 comes after uh, Barack Obama and Rouhani, the U.S. and Iranian president spoke for the first time, uh, the two leaders of the two countries, in over three decades. But uh, Netanyahu says he basically doesn't buy it at all. He says uh, he, he wishes he could believe, but he doesn't. He says uh, Iran uh, seeks uh, Israel's distraction and uh, only a complete dismantlement of its uh, uranium enrichment program would be a solution to the stalemate. And uh, he says Iran deserves more sanctions, not less, and that military option still remains. Now, Anastasia, is there any indication that the threats that Netanyahu made today will affect the revamped talks that you just spoke about between the U.S. and Iran? Well, it looks like this attitude is certainly uh, already affecting uh, the, the, these uh, latest developments between Iran and the United States uh, because uh, uh, we've heard from uh, Iranian officials already kind of uh, sounding disappointment with uh, Obama's what they have referred to as flip-flopping, kind of using the softer tone with Tehran and yet uh, continuing to uh, encourage Israel that uh, the U.S. does keep uh, kind of military option if uh, forceful measures if uh, all else fails. So this is certainly certainly something that's been causing kind of uh, eyebrow raising among Iranian officials who said that it's uh, referring to Netanyahu is better to have uh, uh, a smiley policy which they do than lying so uh, but you know the key here is that Iran does need better ties with the US the US is interested with better and better ties with Iran Israel and the US rely on each other so they're going to have to move forward one way or another and we do know that there are talks in Geneva this month with the five permanent members of the Security Council plus Germany plus Iran on its uranium enrichment Anastasia Cherkina there in New York for us. Thank you so much.